Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition, the grand final wrap-up of Hornets TV, and wow, we one point agonising in close. We went down the NT Thunder, 11-15-81 to the Astley Hornets, 11-14-80 in a huge effort, massive road trip. It's the biggest in the competition. The boys, we had to go through a knockout round uh, throughout the final series uh, where the NT boys were freshened up. Massive, gallant effort by the Hornets, and uh, we went down by a point. But uh, super effort by the boys. The goal kickers, Clinton French, two, and Eric Hipwood kicked two goals. Nick Jackson, James Nellis, Gavin Gross, Eddie Sandsbury, Todd Dickinson, Cam Stevenson, and Matt Payne all kicking one goal. Best players, Matty Payne, brilliant throughout the whole year. They all were. He was best on ground. Matty Hutch, uh, Michael Hutchinson, Josh Wagner, Chaney Stiller in his last ever game. He announced his retirement after the game in the change rooms and a fantastic career at the Brisbane Lions and also the Aspley Hornets. John Williams and Gavin Gross. Let's check out some behind the scenes up in NT and also some footage from the weekend's grand final. Hi, mate. Have a go for Tucker. Uh, Ashley by 37 points. Jess, and pressure's bias. on. And Bayern. Come on, give us something. Come on, defence. A draw. He's lost his mojo. Sorry, was that the lips? We won. I called it. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Rhino, how you going, mate? Stick out. Hutchy, what do you think of that video, mate? Yeah, it was alright, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Your friend, you and the monkey. Oh, you had a late night, did you? Very late night. Nicola, how are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, what time did you get in? Um, what? Lisa, you too? No, we got here at three. You got in five? Five, yeah. That's stitch up. How are you two going? Oh, you one and a half, I mean. One and a half. Oh, good? No. Don't have the baby tonight when we win. No. Ready for a win. That's it. <laughs> Kick it. Kick Nello, that's a cracker. Cruz, how are you buddy? How many dad gonna kick? How many goals dad gonna kick? Six! I'm happy with six. Chaney! Chaney! Straight over! 
The competition's greatest rivalry hit its peak on the biggest stage of all when NT Thunder battled defending Premier Astley in the 2015 Neville Grand Final at TIO Stadium on Saturday night. The contest was an arm wrestle from the opening bounce in the first ever final between the two clubs. Competition leading goal kicker Darren Ewing gave the strong home crowd something to cheer about early when he took a terrific mark in the opening minutes. Luke Bath goes to the top of the goal square, defence there, but a terrific mark. How did he do that? They made it two in a row when Julian Lockwood found some space. Lockwood with the kick from out wide goes for goal. It's pretty good. Astley were on the board at the 12-minute mark when Eric Hipwood took a strong mark and found youngster Cameron Stevenson on the lead. Come from a long way back, floated in and took a terrific strong mark down there, Hipwood. Be a good goal. They actually need a goal. Right at 50. He's got good purchase on the footy. It's Great a good-looking kick. Looking kick. You Great picked it, Gilbert McAdam. He kicks the goal. In a low-scoring and tough opening term, Luke Bath crashed through a pack for Chris Dunn to capitalise as the home side went into quarter time 11 points clear. Hagen trying to get out. Straight in the hands of Dunn. Bang, kicks the goal. Dunn had his second when he earned a free kick 20 metres out from goal when Josh Wagner was caught holding the ball. He can stretch the lead here. Chris Dunn, he's already got one. He's a good kick of the footy. And he kicks the goal, and he becomes the first multiple goal scorer for the match. Inaccuracy marred the second quarter for both sides as Aspley booted the next three consecutive behinds. It took a free kick to Hipwood for the Hornets to break the drought and reduce the margin to eight. With the left boot, kicks at goal and delivers. Uh. Gee, they've worked hard. I haven't seen a team work that hard <laughs> to get their second goal. There were another six behinds before 2014 MVP Matt Payne kicked a classy goal on the run. Goes for goal, kicks it. And the Hornets hit the front when Eddie Sansbury got booted ball on the goal line. Eiffel competition kick to the goal square. Eddie. And at the back, the mark grabbed by Eddie Sansbury kicks the goal. Thunder steady through a skillful snap from Dunn, and they went into half time with a 10 point buffer when teenager Michael Hagen converted a set shot. The Polish player, he knows he's kicked it well, doesn't he? Oh, he knows he's kicked it well. Hitwood booted his second off a pinpoint pass from Adam Hughes to reduce the margin to five early in the third. Good off the boot, that's a good kick, that's a goal. But Thunder would find the answers through their dynamic forward duo. First, Shannon Rioli burst off halfback as Rosier delivered the ball to Ewing in the pocket. Field, gave it to Rosier. That's a 50. They knocked it out of his hand. He should have got 50 for it. Now he plays on. Onto the left boot he goes. He wants Ewing and finds him. Unbelievable. And the spearhead had his third with a huge goal from the boundary. Possible man to be kicking it as far as Aspley's concerned. He goes for goal. He has a shot. And of course he kicks the goal. Dunn stretched the margin to 23 when he bagged his fourth approaching time on. And it looks pretty good. The Hornets hit back through a contested grab and set shot goal from James Nellis. Bartley and Patrick restore the buffer heading into the last change. He can make that even further. He's a good kick of the footy. Measures it nicely. Kicks a goal. Yeah. Gibson Turner had Aspley on the ropes when he opened up a 30 point advantage at the eight minute mark of the final quarter. Bangs it goal. Bangs it goal. Kicks the goal. The first of the last quarter. But there was one more twist to come when the defending champions made a stunning comeback. Clinton French bagged two in a row as the Hornets began to find some space to open the match up. In a hurry. He goes through and he kicks and French gets another one. It took another six minutes for a goal to be registered and it came in the form of star defender Gavin Gross before Todd Dickinson won a free kick to reduce the margin to six. Todd Dickinson, he can make it a goal, the difference. Goes for goal, yes! kicks it. Wow. Unbelievable, Britain toy. Gross was again involved to send the ball forward to rising star nominee Nick Jackson, who drew scores level at the 23rd minute mark. Right Get him to up the, the goal. ground. He's going to run in and kick a goal, an oh. open goal, and he bangs it straight through the middle. Jackson redeems himself for the miss earlier on. The scores were locked for another five agonising minutes and tensions began to rise. Shannon Rioli spotted Turner in space. Kick it to Shannon Rioli. Rioli kicks. He's got players everywhere in the forward line. Gibson Turner takes the mark. 28 minutes gone. Scores level until this kick. Whatever happens, he's going to put his team in front. That's OK. He That's misses. Okay. He puts them in front by a point. He missed, but Thunder were in front. Moments later, Turner had another chance in front of goal, but managed only a behind. Gibson Turner. Oh. 
I reckon he's missed again. He's got another point. He's put the team two points in front. In the last few seconds, it came down to a shot on the boundary line from Gross as the final siren sounded. Two points the difference. Well, you don't kick goals from there. That is the toughest place on the ground to kick a goal from. And the left footer at that. Well, he's the left footer but, too. But I honestly believe it's easier to kick it from that side than the other side because you've got a bit of daylight this side. Well, if he kicks this, they'll win this grand final. And they'll, uh, they'll carve a statue of him. <laughs> he's got the ball in his hands. Gavin Gross, he's a good kick of the footy. He goes for goal. Oh! The siren goes. I reckon he got a point right on the siren. And it's going to count in the score. The result's going to be one point. The result's going to be one point. Great game. Thunder record an incredible victory. And Aspley take nothing away from them when we thought it was all gone for them. And they put on a remarkable last quarter. Gilbert McAdam. Oh, Charlie. Great game of football. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else in Australia. Dunn was awarded the Andrew Isla Medal for Best on Ground as NT Thunder lifted the Premiership Cup as the 2015 champions. It was another thrilling finish to the NEFL season, but there is plenty more to come at NEFL.com.au. Keep up to date with all the off-season news, including club best and fairest winners, the upcoming AFL draft and all the recruitment news at your club. Well, that's a wrap, guys, on season 2015. Going down by one bloody point to NT Thunder. But uh, some lot of things happening uh, in the off-season. The presentation nights. The under-19s, who won the premiership this year, they had their presentation night on Friday, the 9th of October. The QFA Seniors and Reserves are the next night on the Saturday, the 10th of October. And also the Neeful Boys Best and Ferris is on Friday, the 23rd of October. So there's some key dates uh, dates for you to remember. We've also got uh, heaps happening in the off season. Brendale's nearly complete, so we will uh, keep you updated. Weekly uh, episodes of Hornets TV will be all happening throughout the off season. New recruits, the pre-season training, uh, Brendale facilities, new sponsors. Uh, and current sponsors, there's going to be heaps happening, so make sure you stay tuned. We've also, we had 40 episodes this year, first ever time we've done it at Hornets TV, 40 episodes, and oh, in the views of tens of thousands here in Australia and Brisbane and around the world. So thanks very much for tuning in. Stay tuned and we'll be back in a couple of weeks uh, with a couple more episodes.